This is a picture of a child worker on board a jeepney out to go sell products for the day. In my estimation, this kid is not even 10 years old. I remember one of my first times here in the Philippines, I saw a bunch of kids out on the street selling brooms. Their faces were dirty, they were probably 11 or 12 years old, and their clothes were a couple sizes too big for them. I was really floored seeing that. Back home in America, we can't even go to the bus stop 50 meters away without a royal escort from our parents. And here you have this kid selling products by himself on a jeepney at, you know, barely 10 years old, out on the street all day. Upon seeing these images, I felt two separate things. One, I feel respect. I respect these kids a lot for going out all day and selling stuff on the street. They are tougher than I could ever imagine or hope to be and they're getting hardened by life at an age where all they should be doing is going out and playing with their friends. Second, I obviously feel very bad about this. This should not happen. Kids should not be out on the street working. They should be playing with their friends or going to school. You know, this is a pretty sad reality. As I dug deeper, I realized uh, in the Philippines, there's close to 2.1 million child workers. They're normally aged anywhere from five to 17, and about 95% of them are in hazardous work. Children can work on farms, mines, on the street, or even in houses as a domestic worker. Sadly, most of the children that are working at home as domestic workers are, 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 are little girls. Some of them are as young as eight years old and they're very prone to physical, verbal, and sexual abuse. On average, they work about 15 hours per day and they're on call for 24 hours per day. In terms of pay, they make about $17 per month. $17 per month. The good news is the Philippines is trying to do something to stop it. In January of 2013, an act called Batas Kasambahay was proposed. One of its aims was to abolish child labor, eliminate all forms of forced labor, and eliminate trafficking of children and women. Important progress has been made in reducing the amount of child labor here in the Philippines. In fact, from the early 2000s to 2013, there was a 40% decrease in child labor here in the country, which is great news. The key battle today in the Philippines is less about good policy and more about implementation of these policies. A recent study also called for improving education access and quality and also increasing advocacy and social mobilization activities, basically increasing awareness. Well, I, I hope to help a little bit by making this video. It was very surprising to me to see those numbers and to see so many kids in the labor force working, and that's obviously a detriment to the future of the Philippines because these kids aren't getting the education that they need, perhaps, and their opportunities for future growth sort of diminished a little bit. And I think that as the Philippines continues to improve as a country, I think that um, this will continue to get eradicated. So great job Philippines so far. There's more work to be done, but I think that this is something that the Philippines is going to, to crush, you know, in the upcoming years. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Tom out. Bye-bye.